Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, I am in the thick of doing finished artwork. Well, I'm actually kind of doing roughs at the moment in fact, for my third dragon book. I wrote, first of all, I wrote Dragon Red and I thought it was going to be just one book and I thought, no, there's more to this story. So I wrote Dragon White. I finished that and I thought, there's more to this story. So I've written Dragon Red and this is what the cover's going to look like. And I've got a bit of a problem because, well, today is January the 12th and publication day is the 1st of March, which is the national day in Wales. It's St. David's Day and St. David's Day plays kind of a major um, role in these books. So Janet, my editor, has sent me the final sort of laid out uh, text and I printed it all out, so this came kind of Monday, and uh, <laughs> so I kind of had a quick look on Monday. Then Tuesday I went to visiting a school all day, which was really exhausting. So yesterday I was like, Ugh. <laughs> and I managed to go through it, and I've done some incredibly quick little pencil sketches just to get the whole idea into my head. And now I'm going to go through these again and kind of firm up these pencil sketches into roughs, um, and I'll send those off to Janet. Uh, one at a time so that she can be checking them and approving them and by the time I finish the roughs then I'll be ready to get down to the finished artwork while she's still approving <laughs> the final bunch as it were and uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show you how I get go from these tiny little sketches into a rough that I'll send to my publisher. Now when we had finished copy editing the story uh, we chose sort of 10 scenes that we thought would take up full page spreads so I could just get on and do that artwork while the rest of the story went off to the typesetters uh, to be designed uh, and then we knew there would be some sort of half pages and gaps and things left which are the spaces that I'm now filling in uh, with the new illustrations. This is what I printed out and this is the half title page which needs a little illustration so I've done another copy of this page, a very rough sketch and then I've kind of used the light table and just folded it through to kind of get a better sketch. So I could probably I'll maybe do something again from that before I send it off. This is the title page. This is all the printing history. This is chapter one. So this is one of the illustrations I've done already. And now we are on page three. We've got half page one, Harry waking up with mum. So that's the very quick sketch I did while I was reading through the text. I was also looking for sort of spelling mistakes and problems like that as well. So here, I know this is going to be about there. Um, and so that's kind of the space I've got. This can go. I can that, that can just be deleted. And we don't have to have that on every page. So we've got Harry waking up with mum. And it says Harry threw the covers off and sat up in bed, blinking, shaking the sleep out of his eyes, felt confused and muzzy. He'd been dreaming of dragons. Was this still a dream? So he's got to look confused and muzzy. And um, I'm gonna let this bleed off the edge of the page. I'm gonna make it one of those Ikea sort of style bed like that. So we want a kind of an angle where mum can be here as well. Harry's gonna need to be kind of leaning forward with knees up like that I think I think he'd probably be have his head on his hands he's kind of wearing pajamas as well uh, I think he'll be kind of holding on to his duvet <laughs> will be kind of there I have to think of what kind of pattern the duvet might have uh, he's going to be kind of looking at mum his hair's going to be all over the place. Uh, it's going to be a t-shirt type of pyjamas, I think. And now I'm just thinking, i got no idea what his mother looks like. Well, I'm not sure I've ever drawn her before. Oh, yes, I have. I remember now. This is his mum. I think this is the only time I've drawn his mum in the books. A cute little nose. And she's looking slightly alarmed because the police are downstairs wanting to talk to her little boy. <laughs> Which is why Harry's looking a little bit alarmed too. Because he thinks, uh, it must be a dream. The sirens have gone off in the town. It's like air raid warnings going on and I don't like that hand there. 
So I'm just kind of working this out. He's going to have a photo there of his dragon, Tan. And then oh, maybe some other things as well. So I don't think I can really send that. I don't think I can really send that to my, <laughs> my editor. But, um, so now I've got to kind of start improving on that. And I'm thinking, what have we got? We've got I think we could maybe have dragons. I want these to be quite easy to draw. So there'll be his his town has just obsessed with dragons, so um so he'd be able to get dragon duvet covers very easily. I think I'm gonna draw his hand. His pajamas sort of coming like that. So he's kinda of leaning forward, definitely sitting up in bed. And then we're gonna have a pillow there. Oh, I think we want that kind of curve, don't we, like that. And his mum, lovely, wacky, curly hair. Very concerned. It's mm, got to get this the the eyeballs in the right place so that they've got a definite um, kind of connection between the two. I think it's early in the morning, so maybe I think. I'm wondering whether she should have a dressing gown on as well. So this could be quite fluffy. Uh, and she could be leaning forward with her, which brings her kind of more into the picture as well. So I'm going to redo this bit here, so this will be her fluffy dressing gown, which will probably have little spots and things all over it, and then, and then she's kind of shaking his legs like that. Uh, and then this becomes a bit confusing then, doesn't it? So I think we can just pile that duvet up underneath there and then have another dragon design there. And then we can come back to... Uh, we want him looking very pleased with himself, the dragon, not, not looking fierce. Because he's kind of posing for a photo. And sellotape, 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 sellotape. Newspaper report on the wall there. Mm, pillow will be there, won't it? So. And then maybe. We might put something up the back there. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. So now I'm going to fold this over <laughs> just to make sharpen up my pencil. So that's our duvet cover. I think I could maybe chop some of that off and add a bit more onto this. This is Mum in her pink spotty <laughs> dressing gown. She'll be a bit tousled as well because she's only just woken up thanks to the police knocking on the door wanting to speak to him. And his hair is pretty tousled at the best of times. <laughs> and so we'll get him looking a little bit dozy. Like that. And then I'm going to move that back to about there and then the pillow to about there so then the pillow can come behind here and we won't really see the rest of the bed behind there a smaller picture there I think because he's he's more obsessed with tan his dragon and what is it with roughs then um, a rough needs to be good enough that <laughs> you're Editor knows what on earth it is you were trying to do. I'm going to put drag on in the tower. So your editor needs to know what it is that you're trying to achieve. And so that you know what you're trying to achieve as well. But at the same time, you don't want it to be so perfect. Because the more perfect you make a rough, sort of the more stiff the final piece of work seems to be. So... So it's kind of, you kind of want to be spontaneous, um, 
but you need to be quite accurate as well in a way so that you're uh, <laughs> so the editor knows what's going on and I think that that should probably do it I think so if I do something like that a bit of shadow in the background like that that might bring that forward a little bit like that there so this is going to be page three so I need to scan that and <laughs> sent it off to Janet. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And uh, I've really got to get on with it. Uh, time is of the essence, so there'll be no sleep for me. And in the meantime, you keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. And you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take.